And the whole staff fiasco is not even the weird part of this entire film. You're telling me Ty Law and all these other villains that Poe defeated over the years came from the spirit world. And none of them, not even a single one of them, had any animosity towards Poe. No one wanted to kill him. No one wanted to stay in the world of the living and take over the world. You're telling me it's so peaceful. It's so grand. It Kung Fu Panda, the franchise, dropped its fourth installment. And the whole premise of this is Poe has to now become a spiritual leader. And by that doing so, he has to, you know, train a worthy successor to become the dragon warrior now he has to become a spiritual leader like shifu and whatnot now this whole poor problem i have now the staff of wisdom that poe has unless i don't remember watching one two three of you know the dragon warrior kung fu panda i don't remember Uwe giving him the staff of wisdom if i remember vividly Uwe, while he was standing by the priest tree by the edge before he transcended to the spirit world uh, and withered away into uh, stardust and whatnot. He gave the staff, right? He gave the staff to Uguay. Wait a minute, he didn't give the Jade staff to Uguay. He gave him the staff that, with the little... When did... When did... When did Poe get the staff? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I thought Uguay, you know, gave Shifu the staff, but he didn't. I just remembered. He gave Uguay the staff that Shifu... Uh, Uguay gave Shifu the staff that he's currently... That uh, Uguay gave Shifu the staff that Shifu is currently using. Now, when did Uwe give Poe the staff? I don't know. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm just dabbling in nonsense here. So, from my understanding, the whole premise is Poe has to find, you know, a worthy successor, and he finds one in this uh, conniving thief that happens to be a fox. I, I don't remember. What, what's the fox's name again? Ah, oh, never mind. So... This fox happens to be a double agent for Poe's futuristic uh, arch nemesis, uh, the chameleon, who has the power to transform into any, you know, uh, villain or any individual, basically. And this, uh, I'm about to spoil the shit out of this. And this uh, chameleon fella manages to take Poe's staff of wisdom and open the gate to the spirit realm and uh, summon all the kung fu masters tai long and all these other guys and steal their kung fu sounds familiar but and the sad part about this uh the the you know the five tigris and everybody else mantis and monkey they're they're not even a damn thing. They're not even on. They show up. They do a little cameo towards the end, you know, helping the fox train and what. But they don't speak. So that, that means they didn't even fight Jackie Chan to speak. Ah, oh, man, this is sad. Ugh. I was excited and looking forward to them. I, but I still like. I feel like there's a lot of potential with this franchise. I mean, like, they could do an adventures of, uh, you know, the fox, him becoming. The Dragon Warrior and whatnot, you know. And I, I feel like we're missing a tale of the... Is it the Furious Five or the Fantastic Five? Whatever they're called. You know, I think they should do a show about them. You know, about them individually. You know, like a solo show without Poe in it. That would be great. Or like their adventures before Poe showed up. That would be great. But overall, I really enjoyed this. It was really entertaining. It's, it's made for kids overall. I wish that it had it had new elements to it. You know, the whole Poe's panda dad showing up and being part of the family and whatnot. Cool stuff. You know, uh, the whole fight at the tavern, which is on the edge. And every time a big creature or a big person moves or Poe fights, it keeps tilting towards the edge. And eventually falls when Poe's dad shows up, which is pretty cool by my sense. I really liked it. I like the fact, but I, I know it's sorcery, but the fact that the chameleon can change into an elephant, that's a lot of body mass, man. It's wizardry, it's sorcery, I get that, but in terms of mass, man, the, the little guy is this small, and somehow he transforms into this gigantic elephant that's big enough to take the whole world by storm, which is pretty cool by my opinion. But anyway, uh, remember to go watch it. It's out on cinemas, you, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. Anyway, um, Kung Fu Panda 4, worth the time for watch lovers like us. Anyway, uh, remember to hit that like and sub button. I appreciate you. 
It's been your boy Reese Chanson and Arrivederci. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.